everyone and welcome back it's your girl marquita with marquita lb luxury on today i have a few topics that i want to discuss with you guys first and foremost i want to speak on the glazing issue with my reverse monogram pochette matisse i want to also give you an update on the beautiful louis vuitton Atlantis handbag that is coming out in november but before we get started make sure you view my past videos like share and subscribe Tell a friend how much fun we have over here. Don't forget to visit your girl on Instagram at Marquita LV Luxury. Now that we have that out the way, you guys know exactly what to do. Go grab some wine or some tea and a light snack. Hurry back so we can get started. Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. We come for you, only go like once. Life move fast when you do what you want. I guess I'm doing what I want. Hope you know what you want. What you want. Okay, so let's talk about the Atlantis handbag, the Louis Vuitton Atlantis handbag that is coming out. I have spoken to three out of five CAs that I actually have. And I told you guys, it is always smart to have more than one CA. Guys, the turnover rate with these CAs at Louis Vuitton, I'm not sure what's going on. I just heard that it's like commission-based. I don't know how they're paid. But the turnover rate is horrible. So I always try to keep more than two CAs on my side and constantly communicate with them and when i purchase i purchase from this ca this ca i just spread the love around <laughs> okay so i spoke with a couple of my cas yes it is coming out in november as of right now mid-november but as they told me this could change the date could either move up or it could move back so just know that it is coming out in fall they did reassure me of that also the location has not changed. South Korea, it is. So we can get that out of our heads that it's going to be released in the U.S. It's not. It's not going to be released in the U.S. Third, it is very, very important to have a CA on your side right now. Or if you know and trust someone in South Korea to purchase this handbag for you guys, our options are very, very slim. I even told my CA, what are the chances that you can actually order this handbag for me? She was like, Marquita, it's going to be very hard. They are going to request for a pre-order, of course. Guys, even with the pre-order, it's not promised. This is why I honestly hate pre-orders. I having my money tied up when it comes to exclusive handbags like this, okay? So... This is going to be the first time that I honestly do a pre-order. I don't want to miss out on this handbag. And if me giving a pre-order actually, you know, up my chances on getting the Atlantis handbag, that's exactly what I am going to do. So I am going to give a pre-order. Once I get more details, especially on the price, guys, I am going to update a for sure release date. It is very, very soon. We are in July. I am going to give you guys an update. The only thing that we know for sure is that it's going to be released in South Korea and it's going to be hard for our CAs to get this handbag for us. So build a relationship. Make sure when your number is called, you have the funds available because it's not a waiting list like the mini bomb bag. We don't have, a, this is not going to be a waiting list. This is either, hey, this bag is being released probably in 30 days you know the pre-order do you have the funds available and if you do not it's next the next person because i'm pretty sure a lot of people is going to want this handbag i am going after the reverse monogram pm and i want the monogram guys in the mm size so i am going for both and hopefully if i can just get one i am okay with that and i prefer i prefer the reverse monogram because it's completely you know the the reverse monogram the beautiful tan it's not the one side you know the dark brown then the other side you know the lighter tan so guys this is what i want and i do love that it has the bag tag in the front 
I just love everything about this handbag. So that's what I'm going after. You guys let me know if you are interested. Leave it in the comments. Let's talk about this. I I just hate how they are releasing this handbag. They know it's going to be a high handbag. Why are they doing this to us? Okay. The next thing that I want to discuss. Guys, as of right now today, I don't see any Louis Vuitton handbags that I really, really want. A lot of you guys are stating, what's my next handbag from Louis Vuitton? Right now, I don't see anything except for the Atlantis handbag. And I already told you guys the Triangle Softy. But if I can't get the Triangle Softy in excellent condition, like I want, okay, especially paying the up price that these consignment shops are putting on the handbag, I don't want it. I don't want the leather ends. I don't want any type of wear and tear showing. That's, that's just it, okay? So right now, the handbags and, well, the brands that I am looking at is Fendi and Dior. Yes, I have been on the Dior website. I know I said I wasn't going to go back to Dior because of what's going on with my totes that I have. But the Lady Dior is looking very, very nice on Instagram. And I want to go and take a look. So I feel like I have enough Louis Vuitton handbags right now that I actually love in my collection. And so it's okay to branch out. And that's exactly what I'm looking to do. So I haven't forgot about the Chanel. And guys... The Pauline is still jogging my mind. So it's a lot of handbags except for a Louis Vuitton that I am interested in and I am looking at. So that's to answer you guys' questions. Yes, I do shop outside of LV, okay? The next, I want to speak to you guys. This is something that is so disturbing to me. I've never had this issue before, but I noticed the peeling and glazing on my reverse monogram pochette Matisse. I'm not happy about this. I am most definitely going to go and bring it to my CA. I just really need to set time aside again to go to the Galleria. But I am going to show you what I'm speaking on. And I'm not going to lie. Once I see something peeling, guys, I do just peel. I, I, just, I just can't help it. So I'm going to show you my handbag. And let me know if you have the pochette Matisse and if you dealt with this issue before. Okay, so here this beauty is here, guys. The peeling actually started like around the edges and the glazing a little bit also i'm noticing that the threading i wish you guys could see it from here but i absolutely have been peeling and peeling and peeling and to be honest my husband is the first one that actually saw it when i was using it when we went to the movies and so guys it is most definitely peeling very very bad and it's around the edges here and the threading is coming loose here and I don't use this bag, and also here, by the D-ring. I don't use this bag enough for it to happen. Um, I don't think it should happen at all. I purchased this in 2019. I can say I've worn this handbag probably five times. Guys, I purchased it in 2019. I've used this, I would say, probably not five times. Probably not even that much, that many times, okay? But it's here. I do see it. I notice it. And guys, the threading is unraveling also underneath. So it's a lot of threading unraveling. The peeling, like I will honestly peel from around the edges. And I don't know if this has anything to do with it. I really, really don't know. But this bag here, a lot of you guys ask, this was not made in the U.S., so, when I brought this up in my past video, a lot of you guys sent me a message and asked, was this handbag manufactured made in the U.S.? And no, my other monogram pochette Matisse was. That was made in the U.S. This was made in Italy. So, guys, I don't think it's where it's manufactured, where it's made, because, like I said, my other pochette Matisse, I'm not having any issues with, but I am having issues with this, and this was made in Italy. I honestly think it's just LV and their quality issues. That's it. Just like any other brand, no, this doesn't make me upset. 
enough to where I will stop shopping. Because like I said, I had an issue with Gucci. They fixed it right away, okay? I don't, it's not a big enough issue. Like, like I said, I'm a business owner. Things happen. If it's corrected, then I'm okay. Just like I showed you guys about the Marc Jacobs bucket. Even the Marc Jacobs tote, guys. No business is perfect. Nobody's perfect. So it, it doesn't make me mad enough to, you know, to leave the brand alone. I still love the brand. I am just simply telling you, some of you were like, I don't purchase, you know, I don't want to purchase the Pochette Matisse because I'm hearing about the glazing issues. And I was fighting so hard with you guys, like, oh my God, you're missing out. You need this handbag, which I still stand behind because the Pochette Matisse is a beautiful handbag. It's just that, hey, I'm experiencing the glazing issues on it and the peeling on it. So it is what it is. I wanted to share this with you guys because you guys ask. You know, I hate speaking on brands and their quality issues because I don't want you guys to feel like just because it happened to me is going to happen to you. I still feel this is a fabulous handbag, but I wish I could show you because I most definitely have been doing some peeling on it, which guys don't do it. It's just me being very, very picky, but yep, yeah, most definitely. So I am most definitely going to speak to my CA about this and I had the peeling and also the glazing issues with this. This is why I honestly couldn't sell it. I actually had this sold and before, you know, putting in a dust bag, guys, and shipping it off, I noticed peeling as well. Like I said, I just wish you guys can see it. I mean, very, very bad, guys. And this, I haven't used it but once. I haven't used it but once, okay? And it's still the same, the threading. And I couldn't, I couldn't sell it like this, so I had to refund the young lady. And let her know, like, if it's not being sent in brand new condition, that's what I described it as. I honestly didn't notice this until I was putting it in the dust bag, getting ready to ship. So, like I said, guys, I think I need to do an entire video on these brands and their quality issues. Like, what is what is going on? I noticed that's why some of you guys really shop vintage. And I'm like... Maybe I need to do that because the Atlantis handbag was already created. It was already out. I see the Atlantis handbag a lot with these consignment shops. Should I wait? It's the money ground, not the reverse money ground. The money ground Atlantis handbag. And I'm like, should I go for that over trying to get this one in South Korea? Because... Uh, I just don't want to deal with quality issues. So, guys, you let me know what do you think. Like, are you experiencing this with the other brands? I heard Chanel quality issues have went. I had the experience, like I said, with Gucci. The only luxury brand that I have had issue with is Fendi. So you guys let me know. I know my monogram Speedy 25 Bandolier. It's just crazy. It's, it's ridiculous. I wouldn't even sell it <laughs> at all. So I, I don't know how to feel because I don't like being upset. But this is like we are paying thousands for these handbags. And a lot of you guys are saying that those that shop replica handbags, that the quality is better than what you have in your closet the, from the luxury brands. So I don't, I don't know. Let me know if you have a Pochette Matisse, if you had the, the, the glazing, the peeling, or any handbags from LV. Let me know if you had any issues, guys. So... I just want to come and give you guys a quick update and let you know about the Atlantis and again... I am in Houston, Texas, and so if you need a CA, if I can get to your message, if you need a CA, if you're trying to get the handbag and you know that you are going to purchase, you can't play with these CAs, I will um, I will kind of pass the word. I don't know how my CA wants me to give out her phone number or email, but I will try my best to help you. And before I get off, the mini bum bag. 
mm, one of my CAs, <laughs> the one that sold me the bu mini bum bag, she was like, at the moment, her waiting list is at over 500, guys. I don't know what they're doing. Even with the Neverfulls, I don't know what's going on. I asked her about a shortage. She said no. It's not a shortage at all. It's not a shortage at all. She said they just stopped creating them. She said when she goes to the meetings, they speak on the never full handbags. She said they just stopped creating them. And the ones that they do create, they do send them out if you are on a waiting list and you have paid. Okay? If you have paid. But other than that, there's no shortage. They're just not making them. They're not creating them. So it doesn't mean they're they're not discontinued. It's a business tactic that they're doing. I don't know what it is. I don't know if they are trying to recreate or if they're trying to make us want these handbags so much to where they build this waiting list and then they open it up on the website to say, hey, now they're available and then we all run to purchase. I don't know what's going on. But my CA said they just stopped creating them. When they went to their meeting, that's what they were told. So I am just here to basically share the information that's provided to me. So you guys let me know what you think about that. You know, they know we want the handbag now. You see the waiting list has built up even for the mini bum bag. What's going on? what's going on so guys let's talk you guys know how we do let me know in the comments how you feel as always stay safe stay blessed until next video bye bye